All right, so I wanted to take an opportunity to just show you all a few little tips on using rulers, guides, and grids. So um, when you're designing in Photoshop, it's really helpful if you're able to turn on rulers. So by default, they may or may not be turned on the Photoshop that you're using. So you want to be able to turn them on, which if you go to the View menu and you go about halfway down, you'll see this option for rulers. And when we turn them on, they obviously give us a little bit of a visual guide here. Um, we are able to um, change the measurements of these. So by default right now, I've been working in pixels because I do a lot of web and online design. Um, so if you wanted to change this measurement from pixels to inches, you just would select. Um, so I'm holding down the control key, which is kind of like right clicking on a computer. And then you select the measurement that you want to be able to choose. Um, there are a lot of options also to be able to create guides in Photoshop. Um, so basically a guide is something that is like a visual indicator that we can pull down from a ruler that will create like a visual cue for us when we're designing. These guides can be pulled out multiple times and you can decide where you would like them placed. When you hover over them you can move them whichever way that you would like. Obviously, if they're vertical, they have to continue to stay vertical and vice versa. If you start to pull out too many guides, you may want to actually be able to kind of remove them right off the screen. So you just drag them right off the screen. You also do have the option here to be able to show and hide guides right here. Okay. Um, and then the other tip for you is being able to use grids. So we could essentially turn on a grid in Photoshop by going to View, Show, and then Grid. And this basically creates an additional visual cue for you when you're designing so that it helps you align things in your Photoshop document. Um, we are able to customize a little bit of this if you go through your Photoshop preferences. You can go to Preferences and then Guides, Grids, um, and it also includes slices, which are not used as often these days. So if you do not like the color of your grids or your guides, you can basically change all of these um, different options here. Um, so lots of cool features for you. Hopefully that helps you out so that as you are designing, you're able to align things and position them where you'd like them to be. And that you also understand what measurements that you're working in when you're using rulers. Hope this helps.